just watching me on part one but now you guys are on part two and you guys are going to learn how I got this hair color so if you're interested just keep watching the video so I'm going to be starting off with my closure as you guys saw on part one I bleached the knots and I bleached the hair into this blonde golden color I'm going to also be using my 16, 18, and 22 inch ombre straight hair that Sunbird Hair sent me. And I'm going to be dyeing it red for you guys today. It's kind of like a hint of magenta. It's not really like red, red. But the dye that I got, I got it from CVS. It's just a box dye. And it's the Clairol's Blazing Burgundy texture and tones dye and I got two boxes of that and I feel like this dye is so simple it comes with like the little um, conditioner that gloves the applicator uh, and the color so you basically just put the color into the cream and you shake it up really really good and guys make sure you wear gloves because I know that having red nails and red fingers hands is not fun so yeah so i'm basically pouring step two into step one and then i'm going to shake it up it's as simple as one two three literally and i'm just going to keep shaking this up until the color is together all mixed together and you guys are going to see the bottle turn kind of red and then you just basically snip the top so um you can just pour it out when I'm coloring the hair, my main goal is just to get the hair saturated. So I really don't have a technique when it comes to this. I'm just pouring this all over the hair. Sometimes I'm rubbing it in with a brush. Sometimes I go in with my hands, but um, I'm no professional. I just try to get the hair saturated with the color. So at first I'm brushing it and then I'm going to um, just work it in with my hand because I found that that was easier. And of course you don't want to get your lace dye so make sure that you're holding the lace in kind of monitoring and making sure that you're not getting the red on the lace so i just basically flip it over and just saturate the hair in this color Now that my closure is pretty much saturated, I'm going to now start on my bundles. One thing that I didn't show you guys is that I lifted the color on my 16 inch bundle just a little bit. I literally left the bleach on for maybe 15 to 20 minutes and then I rinsed it out. But I left the longest bundles, which is the 18 and the 22 inch, I left that color the same. And the process time for leaving this dye on is really not long. You just leave it on for 20 to 25 minutes, which the box tells you. So you just basically follow the directions. But I think I left it on for maybe 30 to 35 minutes. I just gave it 10 extra minutes. And then I just rinsed these bundles out until the water was clear. And then I put the conditioner on and left it on for maybe 15 minutes. And this is what I came up with. Um, the bundles are air dried. This is the next day. And this is how the color came out. I'm really pleased with the color. And that is it on how I colored this hair, this beautiful color. Now, I do have to say that I wish that my closure was a little bit darker. But again, I could go back in later on down the line and put another color on top of this. But I kind of like how this looks. It's giving me, you know, kind of like a cranberry feel. So, if you guys haven't already checked out part three on how I made this wig with the closure for the first time, just go in the description box under this video and click on the link. I'll make it easy for you guys. All you guys have to do is go in the description box and click the link. It's just that easy. So go right ahead and go watch part three.